Hi everybody, it's Halo 4 Tutor with another Halo 4 gameplay commentary. As always, I'm bringing you my signature tips and tricks to help you start winning more often and having a lot more fun while you're doing it. I've been spending a lot of time in the Forge Test playlist and this playlist is fantastic. It's completely rejuvenated my excitement about Halo 4. Uh, if you've kind of fallen away from Halo 4, if you weren't having as much fun as you, th you thought you would, make sure to come on back and check out this playlist because it's absolutely phenomenal. I'm playing Capture the Flag here. I'm not sure exactly how to pronounce the name of this map, so I'm going to spell it out instead of screwing up the pronunciation. It's G-A-R-R-O-T. That's the name of the map here, and uh, it's Capture the Flag. And the one of the primary complaints about uh, a lot of the original Halo 4 maps is they're just way too big. And I know a lot of people were especially complaining about that when the DLC came out. That first DLC came out and the maps were all huge. And everybody was complaining that there was no small or even medium sized maps or certainly not enough of them. Well, the Forge Test playlist, at least for the time being, has completely solved that problem. This playlist is primarily full of maps which are designed for 4-on-4 four -four game types and most of them are, are very small, or it, it, I wouldn't say small, I mean they're smaller than the, than the original maps, but I think that they're actually just the right size, uh, not necessarily too small. This map in particular is actually kind of teeny tiny, it's the smallest one of all the new uh, Forge Test maps currently in circulation. And uh, the, the trick here, especially with Capture the Flag, is this map is so small in fact, that if you die, while you're respawning, the enemy team can run over, grab your flag, carry it across the room, and capture it before you can even respawn. I mean, it's that small. This map is so small that it only takes about 10 seconds to grab the flag, carry it across the room, and capture it. So you really need to be careful to keep a very close eye on your flag and not give your opponent any opportunities to come over here and nab it while you're respawning. Uh, because that is the case, uh, you want to push your opponents into respawns as much as possible. Now, you need to have a balanced game here between the objective and between getting kills, but um, I'm telling you, the map is so small that you're going to have a huge advantage. If you can get even two or three of your opponents into a respawn, you're going to be able to push their flag very, very quickly, get in there, capture it, and even if you can only bring it half the way back, uh, that is that's going to be close enough in most instances here. I'm carrying the flag. I get it halfway there I get absolutely assassinated out of nowhere. This guy comes out of active camo and assassinates me I go back to recapture it and look what happens. I'm running back to the flag the timer is at five six like four three and literally it respawns I mean just a millisecond before I re-grab it. That was so frustrating um, but again, the emphasis here is even if you're going for the objective, and you really ought to, uh, you need to have a balanced game and try to take out as many opponents as possible. Uh, once you do so, try to just make a beeline for the base. I like to go right across the center there and kind of make a little S curve right back into the base. We get the first score of the game, 100 points, uh, flag capture, first team on top, uh, pl plenty more action to come. Now this player uh, got the shotgun, I'm able to grab it off of him by taking him down, uh, get an assist there, and then grab the shotgun. And just, I, I see the red team is pushing very heavily, and so I'm just going to try to play a little bit of uh, base defense, get our flag back. The one thing to keep in mind with this version of Capture the Flag in Forge Test Playlist is you can recover your flag more quickly than the initial timer uh, a lot as I just kind of wipe everybody out with that shotgun. If you sit on your flag, you can recapture the flag much more quickly than the original timer. If you don't touch the flag, I think it's a 15 second respawn, but if you sit on top of it, it's like a four second respawn. So that's something to keep in mind. You can recover the flag. That's very important. Additionally, the other thing you need to know is you cannot capture the flag while your opponents have the flag uh, out, have your own flag out of the base, right? So your flag has to be home in order for you to score. That's very important for you to understand. Um, and that's going to come up a couple times in the game where we get their flag over into our base. They take our flag over into their base. And now we're kind of at a stalemate here, see, because we can't capture the flag and they can't capture the flag. Neither of us can score. And that creates a problem because what do you do? If you sit back in your own base, 
nothing's going to happen. That's just kind of a stalemate. But if you all push up at the same time and leave your flag carrier completely unattended, uh, you know, it can be complete chaos. And, you know, if they, t if they take down your flag carrier, then they can capture the your flag on their base. I love this corner. Take a look at this corner. I have excellent visibility right into their base, and it's going to afford me a triple kill here which is going to allow us to recapture the flag much more quickly. I like this corner because it's a good approach. You can usually come kind of around the edge of the map here and you look right down into your opponent's base. You can get a lot of easy shots right into their base from this corner. If you do so on the other side of the map, that corner is actually at a lower elevation than the rest of their base. So you're actually at a significant disadvantage at the other corner of the map, which is why I like to come through on this side. So that's something to keep in mind. This is a, a quasi-symmetrical map. It's kind of a, a mirror reflection, so um, it's kind of like a diagonally reflective. So in this case, like if, if I'm in the blue base and I'm going to go across the map, I want to stick to that right-hand side and, um, and get into that, that primary corner where I'm up at the same elevation as their base. If I go through the left-hand side from this base, then I'm going to be down at a lower elevation. It's much more difficult to put some shots into their base. Um, and then the same holds true, uh, vice versa for the red team. It's a symmetrical map. So here I've got the, the I've got the flag. So I don't want to jeopardize the flag by taking it over into enemy territory, but I am able to get some shots onto their side, get an assist. They recover the flag, and I'm able to put it in for uh, the third score of the game. We're already up three to nothing, so a pretty good start here. Uh, just a couple more caps to go. So continuing to play a little bit of defense with the shotgun here. My shields are completely down. I just didn't. I was loath to come out from undercover. I wanted to. I wanted to give my teammates some support, but I did not want to come out from undercover without any shields whatsoever. Because with capture the flag, you do not get instant respawns. It's like a five-second respawn, and so you you just really hate to go into a respawn if you can avoid it at any cost. Here, just doing everything I can to. Uh, basically reset our flag I want to get it back because it's just dangerously close to their base don't want them capturing that flag I want to make sure that I cover my uh, loadout recommendations for this map so let me make sure I get to those here I really like grenadier a lot on this map so grenadier and explosives are probably my favorite uh, loadout for this game type on this map because it's very small you're gonna end up dying a lot and every time you die, to be able to respawn with three grenades, uh, all three of which are more powerful than usual, is a tremendous advantage. Uh, additionally, the, the, all the different hard corners and ramps really make for some great uh, frag grenade bouncing opportunities. So along with the explosives and grenadier, I really like those frag grenades on this map. And uh, it's really an excellent way to clear out the opposing base at the same time. So not only do you have some great angles for bouncing frag grenades, and, uh, but you're going to be dying a lot of time. So every time you respawn, you get those extra grenades. You get that resupply of grenades. They're more powerful grenades. Uh, so I really like Grenadier quite a bit. It's, it's a fantastic loadout here. Throughout the entire game, I actually had Jetpack, which is a, a lousy, lousy armor ability for this game type. The only reason I was using it is because that's my Grenadier loadout traditionally is Jetpack along with Explosives and Grenadier. And uh, I really don't recommend Jetpack on this map at all. It's a terrible loadout for this map and this game type. What I would recommend uh, actually would be Regen Field would be super, super helpful in this game type on this map. Additionally, uh, the um, Hard Light Shield would be extremely helpful because if you're going to go and make a push into their base towards their flag... If you can put up that hard light shield and, and just slowly push forward towards their flag, your teammates can kind of fall in behind you, take some cover. That can be a very efficient way to push into the other opponent's base. So I do like Grenadier a lot. I do like explosives. I do like the frag grenades. I do like um, I do like regen field as well as hard light shield when playing on this map and this game type. So there's a few things to consider along the way. Uh, I'm going to carry this puppy back for the fifth and final capture of the game. I hope you guys were able to learn a lot from this game type, uh, from this video rather. Um, I, I really think if you haven't checked out the Forge Test playlist yet, you're missing out. This is a fantastic playlist. It's a really a whole lot of fun, so please make sure to check it out. 
Thanks for watching, everybody. Please comment. Let me know how you liked the video. Please like and share, subscribe, add this video with your, uh, share it with your friends, add it to your favorites. This is Halo4Tutor signing out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.